Hi, I'm Guneet Monga and uh, I'm a filmmaker. Um, I'm a producer. Um, I make independent films. Uh, I've also made documentaries, shots. And today I'm here with uh, Red Sparrow. I'm very excited for the questions coming my way. Um, and I look forward to answering them. So thank you for having me here. You know, firstly, I want to say that marketing and release of movies or all the thought process should primarily start at the start of the film. When you have the script, you should be you should be asking this question that that time. I do know that in the life of independent films, kabi kabi it is not possible. You just want to go make your film and then you want to figure out selling later. But as a role of a producer, the primary function is. कि आप पहले से सोचना शुरू करो दैट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग हु शुड आई कनेक्ट विद हु आर द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स आई शुड मीट इवन इफ यू नो यू गो फॉर्म योर डेटा बेस एट द राइट टाइम यू कैन शो देम योर ट्रेलर यू कैन शो देम योर स्टिल्स यू शुड ऑल्सो गो अराउंड पिचिंग द फिल्म टू बिल्ड मोर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली ऑफ द फिल्म इट ऑलवेज हेल्प वेन यू आर डूइंग समथिंग एक्सट्रीमली इंडी आई वुड से crowd funding is a great option because at least you have a community of people that you're giving updates to so yeah i think the principle is ki jitni jaldi shuru kar pao it is that that is better uh, the sooner that you start and uh, if you haven't been able to start any sooner uh, you should uh, really focus on having material marketing material in place poster trailer and start meeting people start getting out there um to theatrical distributors to uh, there are sales agents there are agents that do digital deals so that's all kinds you have to be um you have to be curious and keep finding those questions and i'm sure when you find those questions you'll also find the answers for it uh, but start as soon as you can i also wanted to talk about rates i think there is a way of assessing uh, what the rate for your movie sales would be basis the package the package is your writer director music composer actors what are their previous films like what can you compare it to what were their sales you have to constantly ask these questions and uh, be curious about finding it out there are magazines like box office india there are uh, online sources that you can find out bigger theatrical numbers for i would say satellite digital numbers it's far more nuanced and it is a very industry information but you know you meet agents and you meet the people in the business you will be able to get an idea of estimation it's also okay to check with producers of other films in they are assuming that they are also in the indie space uh, but you know once you're in the business i do feel that you have a rough estimation of it and um, and then build friends in the business you know uh, build a try build communication uh, that always helps and also what i do is i do find out from three four credible sources to compare numbers and it's usually you know they're all ballpark of each other so it's a combination of distributor it's a con co combination of a uh, head of a studio distribution but largely distributors do um, are very supportive for uh, filmmakers and you there is a way of finding out the best way of reaching to indian reaching out to indian companies would be to attend film festivals in india like uh, mami uh, film bazaar in goa uh, personally i have met a lot of my co-producing partners in film bazaar goa and uh, now it's great to come to bombay to be able to meet producers and also attend the festival which is so heavily attended um, and participated in and i would also say that kerala is great uh, for documentary calcutta is great uh, so i would say that you know one should totally come to india firstly uh, meet people in person coming during a film festival is a great time and for building relationships stay in touch with the producers you like because a lot of indian producers also attend toronto sundance can and those are again common points to meet yeah uh, look up their work reach out to them and build a communication and a great way of starting is the amazing indian film festivals which are primarily um, the ones that i stated uh, goa film bazaar and uh, mami mumbai film festival <laughs> You know, 
I really feel that our environment informs our decisions of storytelling. Why do we even choose to be a part of a film? And why does it speak to us to put, you know, two years of our life in telling that story? Because it moves us. One can totally only um, express through art. I don't think you need to have any pressure of being vocal or not. It's a very personal choice. If you want to be vocal on social media, you could be. But I think, you know, the world can do with more empathy. There is no judgment and I don't think we should judge anyone or have or, or be bogged down by further judgments. I think we should continue to making our art, continue to telling our stories and changing the world with the power of telling stories. I think that is what matters more than um, having, you know, any kind of validation of, of putting your opinion out there on any form of social media. It's a completely personal choice. Uh, more power to people who do it and it's absolutely fine for people who don't make art and that'll outlive us you know and for generations to come it will say our stories and that's more important and in my opinion. Firstly if you have a docu shot ready did you take it to festivals uh, did you f expose it to uh, more people and I think uh, reaching out to people and asking and and you know I actually strongly believe that some things which are well told in a shot maybe do not have the legs to be a feature uh, something is a really powerful shot and and should be celebrated as a shot sometimes I do feel the ambition of a feature takes away uh, the power of the story because you need to el elongate it and keep it keep audience engaged for two hours so just don't approach a feature from cost point of view just don't think it has to be great it has to be it has to be engaging uh, for 90 minutes plus you currently have a great shot please send it to festivals make it as big and amazing as you can uh, and let the world see it and uh, I think producers will reach out to you themselves if uh, the film is discovered. And um, yeah, but I think the, go to the first, go back to the first uh, question that uh, does it have the legs to hold an audience for a few hours? Do not think it from the cost point of view. Yeah, it is a constantly changing market. Uh, while there are more opportunities of sales in the ODT world, in the digital world, but uh, I think at the bottom of it, uh, it's really important to make indie film that does break out, that does go to festivals, that does has a larger footprint for it to have excitement around its sales. If you already know that your your movie is not going to make as much money than you expected, and you already have this information. I think you should be able to do what the best opportunity you have right now. If you have a digital deal in place, there are so many uh, ODT players out there. If you have uh, an airline TV deal, if you can club TV and uh, satellite, um, sorry, if you can club TV and digital deal together, then do it right now. Don't wait any longer because your film is only going to get more dated. And for next time around, be more mindful on how you uh, raise money that's what led me to crowdfunding because the pressure of equity is very high on all of us as independent producers so that's what led me and forced me to think about new ideas and I was able to do international co-productions raise money from France and Germany um, or even be curious about knowing those parts I think uh, it's it's always a challenge with equity so that's why start sales as early as you can so that you're as informed or you have as many people guiding you as soon as possible not wait till the very end of the film it does get very late and i think now your option is the deal any deal that you have in, on the table do it take it uh, try and keep it lesser number of years try and keep it non-exclusive uh, because I feel like if it gets out now, you will have more chances of putting it out there on maybe more platforms depending on your deal. I hope that answers your question. I think uh, being on the same page with your director is really important. It leads to a healthy working relationship. Like I think in any working business, in any industry, you the whole chain needs to know what one another is doing. Here you are selling the film, you are um, 
because while making a film you're seeing a dream right so a large part of heavy lifting has to be done in the pre-production that's why involvement of a producer in the pre-production is really important so you get in sync with your director you know the decisions that are being taken you're aware of the choices being done you've uh, you know the script that's being done and if there are conversations to happen at the edit i think expose it to more people you know don't make it about ego between two people between the producer and the director uh, involve more creative people that you jointly trust and uh, open it up and take feedback for a lot of films that i have been a part of we've always had i mean i think all the films that have been part of, we've always had um, groups watching the film on the first cut stage giving opinions making the best creative choices i think the core idea is to have the best version of the film both for the director and for you you know the film you're getting into from day one so you can't reach the edit and then say are but this is not commercial this is commercial these and commercial and what do you even mean by what is commercial what is not commercial because you're working towards a certain budget and as a producer you should be able to know how how to recover that budget having clear set of communication i do feel communication solves a lot of understanding so having a clear communication is a key and if you are in conflict uh, you should be able to expand your uh, database to show to more people take more feedback and uh, i think try and come to the same point of point of view for the film because that's only healthy and and filmmaking is a very very collaborative process so it's not one versus the other it is not like are i am the creative genius and i have to take the call or i am the financier and i am the producer so i have to take the call i think firstly this i only needs to go out you know it needs to be something that we champion it needs to be a director's voice that you love and you push for that voice and you're so convinced that you know that uh, you know you are taking the right steps forward for it as a team so i think being a team is more important than having um, it it never helps having um, ego battles any of such it, it only damages the spirit and the process of filmmaking i think it's really important to have a very good production manager and a very good line producer on the film and uh, now there are also auditors companies like psk are amazing auditors we work with them a lot there is uh, binay harish kale adina some it's an amazing team at psk and, and most of the studios work with them so i think uh, firstly having a great line producer and a production manager and a very solid pre production that you know how many number of days you are shooting you're aware of course also a very good first ad who's matching the days you're not like going over budget because you're adding days so all this needs to be planned very well and uh, on the shoot having an auditor and making weekly cost reports it's a very common format of making weekly cost reports so you can week to week check you even have your daily cost sheets i actually feel like when we are filmmaking there's a lot which is fixed cost Uh, your uh, variable cost is literally maybe going over on locations your variable costs are very few if you have locked everything before this problem should not happen i think for now take it as a great lesson learned and uh, work with uh, professionals who can stand by the budgets and uh, don't be fascinated about under budgeting because when you're on floor it's really really tough to come back and it's a disaster to you know under budget and and then to have to raise more money it's it really kills the process so it's really important to have a great team and uh, to be able to know and pre-plan as much as possible and work with auditor i think you have to be more aware and time your film well which festival are you submitting i would even say travel to film festivals firstly to be able to meet programmers to be able to introduce your project so that they know that there's something like this that you're coming up with you know festivals again sales festivals sales agents they don't happen overnight it's a lot of work that goes as you are making the film when you have the script i mean we uh, were pitching masan in sundance uh, at the script stage we were pitching uh, lunchbox around the world at the script stage from cinemart to berlin to um, got selected in torino in the script lab so 
one has to build a trajectory firstly go to a script lab you know build more audiences and more credibility on the script that you are putting out there and then when you put the film out there um, know that which festival are you aiming for so you have enough time to send that cut and be more planned uh, so that is what i feel i think planning long before is goes is is always healthy it uh, it is not something that can be uh, you know thought after finishing the film ki chalo ab yahan chale jaate hain it does not work like that i can only tell you from my experiences i've made a film called salam india children cricket film it released the day the week india lost world cup in 2007 and it was my first film i had raised equity money from my neighbor and india lost the world cup and the film was out of all cinemas and there was no way of making any money the studio had spent money for the marketing and they were recovering all the other rights towards their marketing money and uh, we were supposed to recover costs from theatrical and theatrical literally went to zero so i ended up self distributing the film going school to school selling tickets booking shows building a team that would do this in delhi Uh, I went to Chandigarh, Soni Bhat, Pani Bhat, Karnal, uh, and and got out there and did self distribution. I don't think there is a clear uh, path of self distribution, but I recovered my entire money and gave it back to the equity investor by doing school to school shows, by booking morning shows nine to twelve and pre selling them to schools and having thousand seater. kids uh, in 2007 do this but uh, i do feel like self distribution is a model there is an amazing amazing filmmaker called sandeep mohan who's been making independent films and literally picking up a projector and showing films in uh, any place that he can get a great wall and more power to sandeep i'm a huge fan of sandeep because he's able to sustain himself and constantly make movies and uh, i think it is a lot of hustle but then as a filmmaker and as a passionate filmmaker i think you sign up for that don't wait for anyone get out there and do it find your own way i found something and something will work for you so i think uh, innovation can happen uh, if you don't go the usual path i actually think stories choose us it's not the other way around i don't think we choose anything i think the story is choose us it really happened with sudha and me talking one day actually over skype i was in la and uh, sudha who's an incredible director and an amazing friend now uh, and this was our first conversation ever and we really connected over skype i mean what are the odds and uh, she told me about captain gopinath story which was so fascinating and i signed up there and then and uh, and as we went on the journey surya sir joined us and i made uh, some incredible friends in tamil raja from 2d entertainment that uh, we we co produced the movie together and i could not have asked for better partners i could not have asked for better movie to be a part of and i can't wait for everyone to watch it yeah it's been a it's been an amazing amazing experience it's been thrilling yeah i think post um, this settles we will be releasing it and uh, would really love feedback but i think uh, sudha chose me um, if i can say that yeah I think uh, today you can make the film. There's no particular uh, number which is the minimum number to make a film. You can shoot a movie on your iPhone. I mean, what is stopping you? Um, such amazing filmmakers around the world have shot movies on iPhone. We have shot short films recently. Um, if you see Zindagi in Short, uh, this anthology series that I produced that came out early this year. In that, there are two films shot on iPhone, which is uh, I would. just say get out there and do it if you have a team if you have a team that trusts you then i think that is your biggest currency you know you if you have uh, an amazing dop if you have an amazing editor that th- those are your biggest currency and uh, cherish the team and go out there and do it you don't have to go behind any number you can make a film in 5 lakhs you can make a film in 25 lakhs i mean surprise yourself and don't be 
don't go behind a number there is no right way of doing this as long as you know that you can pull off something which is which looks good which feels good you know more than anything it makes it makes the audience move uh, i think having the emotions in place is a bigger thing than the numbers um, the numbers will follow you know if you um, are a producer that has found a great script and has uh, also gotten a great director and the cast um i would say have a very good team find a great line producer or production manager and build your project with that if you're a director i would still say find, go find a good producer find who would take responsibility of the budget with you and help you do this if you are doing everything yourself i think uh, it's too much on a plate just go make a good film it's important to learn that first and don't underestimate the process of making a good film and working with a great team so i've said this repeatedly filmmaking is a collaborative process and uh, it's very important to find your tribe i've said this before and i'm just saying that you know you have to start early you cannot be at a point where you've finished a film and then you're thinking that's the first mistake you're making and uh, if you have a good film and you're an independent filmmaker get out there to the festivals uh, get your film at mami you know get noticed don't think that you have to go behind the biggest film festival in the world go to a film festival that uh, loves your film and you will find the correct representation i have in fact met filmmakers who've made an amazing science fiction but are really you know not discovered at the science fiction film festivals so what festival is the best for your film is also a learning from the business so um, get out there and uh, start as early as you can Uh, for the compliment i would say i just love making movies you know there is no particular reason why i do this but there is uh, i i love it my eyes shine uh, while pitching a story uh, there are butterflies in my stomach uh, every time finishing a film starting a film so it's like falling in love every time and i and i'm deeply deeply passionate about this so that's the core reason that i do this besides um, you know you find amazing people on the way globally uh, which has been hugely rewarding for my journey and uh, i am very hopeful because now even the buyers have increased with the ott coming in from netflix amazon hotstar z5 sony live woot woot select i think the list is huge and there are new buyers the market has expanded and given that it's forced to give an opportunity to a lot more newer creators and uh, it's exciting so i totally want to be a part of it and uh, play my role tell more stories and be able to produce more and uh, to put sikhya to constantly put sikhya on the map um, we are not only doing films we are also doing documentaries we are also doing short docs uh, we are also doing series so the spectrum is so um, widespread we are also doing audio shows audio series so i think there is a lot to be done so there's so many formats to produce content in and to to be able to express more and uh, and uh, i love doing it alternative screenings is something that i've thought about a lot uh, for many years and uh, with one of my films like i uh, shared before salam india i was able to pull off uh, school to school screenings and uh, but that was also linked in with single screens morning shows the school timing 9 to 12 morning shows i was able to do that as an alternative method of releasing a children cricket film but um, i think i've thought i've genuinely thought about putting films out there in cafes and comedy clubs uh, and had these discussions with a lot of people in the industry but i do feel that there are practical challenges with it from licensing from sound uh, movies is such an audio visual experience that uh, having proper sound is a make or a break of a film having proper picture quality is very important and uh, many many avenues are very distracted so um, there are there are 
distribution platforms like Wakao that PBR started, which is for uh, you know indie films to get out there and use a platform format, which is almost you can uh, do few screenings and pre-sell them. Um, so there are few structures that have that the experimentation is on, but I do feel that uh, if you're an independent film, do not discount uh, being launched at an OTT because the power of 190 countries is huge and uh, I've experienced it. So that's how I am sharing here. And uh, I do feel breaking out at a platform is even bigger today. And uh, you can, uh, the world has really evolved to having an amazing global OTTs and, uh, and, and, and they are supportive of independent work. So for good independent films, there are many options now and it's a great time to continue making them. So yeah, I am very hopeful. Yeah. Thank you so much for um, asking me all these questions and uh, being so curious about producing independent filmmaking. I hope I was able to um, sufficiently answer and uh, thank you Red Sparrow for having me here. I really enjoyed putting this together and I hope you enjoyed as well. Thank you. This is Guneet and uh, keep watching movies.